to this Team America deck that we did see earlier. Um, we, when we saw it earlier, it lost to Zoo. Okay. Um, so, oh, and here we go. Ari right Lex. into it. But uh, apparently, Ari Lex playing Storm Combo apparently feels like he has a very bad matchup. This is apparently his worst matchup. I keep saying apparently. We don't have the decks right now. This is reportedly his worst matchup. I mean, we don't have the list, Glenn. but uh, I want to know why exactly he feels this deck so bad for him. I think it's. Uh, does he. No, this, this deck doesn't run top, right? It doesn't, right? Uh, it's one of the two stalkers of the boys. Yeah, it's got Tomb Stalker, Goyf, that's the creature package, and then, uh, and then pretty much just c control. Oh, you can go him, and that's why. Yeah, that's true. Duress thoughts yeah, is right, the, yep. Discard packages, the control cards, so. I'm just kind of excited to see Ari's, uh, Ari, I'm sorry, just calling him Ari, but Ari's deck in action, so I'm kind of uh, hoping that maybe he at least gets gets things going. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, it's, no, it's no fun to watch somebody just not be able to do anything. Right. At least not at the beginning of a game, you know, like if, if they're able to like kind of do some stuff and then they get stopped, that's a little more entertaining. There's Alex Brittancini in the background, <laughs> kissing them goodbye, blowing kisses here. Yeah. You can hear him laughing from across the room. <laughs> MTGmom.com sticker on uh, Ari's sweatshirt there. So, let me take a look at this real quick. All right, oh, so, so this is something we were talking about a little while ago before John came in. What were the legacy decks that looked interesting to you to play, that you'd like to play? Well, um, the first deck that um, comes to mind for me mm -hmm. is Merple. Okay, why um, is that? Um, because it's, I feel like it's got the, uh, like the early pressure, mm -hmm. and it has the... Uh, the counter spells to keep the combo players honest. And I think it's just, a, it seems like a balanced deck for uh, for this format, you know, and it seems like the kind of deck I would like to play because it turns dudes sideways, like, um, but, I mean, the Enchantress deck looks interesting, but um, I think, again, I think that's a deck where the mirror match would just break my spirit and I would probably want to quit magic. So, um, I don't know how interested I am in playing that. Um, I think just watching that match made me never want to see that deck again. Um, but anyway, uh, goblins also seems like. I mean, you probably figure goblins would be right up my alley. Yeah. Um, you've known me for a long time. Uh, I think. I think I mean, something, something along those lines. Something like goblins or merfolk. Um, just seem like a good starting point to at least just get in and play, you know? What do you, I mean, what do you think of those two lists? Which one do you think, for, I mean, well, you know, like I said, you yeah, know me for a while. Which one do you think would be better suited well, to my Out of Goblins style? or Merfolk? Probably Goblins, I would obviously. go with Goblins, because it seems like you're kind of thing more, just the, the aggro strategies. Uh, meanwhile, the game actually has gotten started, so um, didn't even notice uh, the turn one, is that a Duress, and then into a Force of Will, and a turn two Duress from Ari. Rest to rest. Yeah, so this time he's not going to go with the Force of Will. And he sees Force, Stifle. Yeah, it's Force, Stifle, Ponder, Him, uh, Wasteland, and Tropical Island. And Dan fetches a an underground sea. And uh, he also, I believe, stifled Ari's uh, fetch land mm. activation to keep him off mana. Kind of missed that, trying to keep track of what was actually in his hand. And now, now there's him to tore off from Dan. So this is going to... He's, he's really, I mean... 
they're both being very aggressive That's with their... haymaker uh, after haymaker yeah, here. I mean, just in the early turns. So, and there's... Uh, Got, got rid of ad nauseum, um, yeah, ad nauseum and something else that I couldn't see. Um, there's a third duress. Oh, wow. And uh, this time he uh, plays predict. predict, yeah. And, uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> him, the Torok, double him. Oh my gosh, it's just ridiculous. It's been like uh, triple duress, double him. Wow. Uh, there's a ponder from Daniel. They're playing very fast. I'm like having trouble keeping up in a way. I'm like, looking around at what's going on and missing other things going on. Thank you. Okay, so. So, uh, Daniel lands a goif. Meanwhile, Ari is stuck on one swamp at the moment. <laughs> that was a really explosive start to this yeah, game. And here's uh, Tarmor Wave swinging in for how much? How big is that boy? We're going to find out momentarily. As soon as we see it. So, oh, is, he, is he that small? Just three? I mean. Instant sorcery land. That might maybe, be it. Maybe that is it, yeah. I mean, they just cast a bunch of spells, you know? Yeah. And there's a lotus petal. Now when that goes, that'll pump the goyf. Yeah. Four. Brainstorm. And he sees... There's a daze. I think. Is that a daze? No. No, I'm sorry. Some, it's, I, I thought it looked blue at first, too, now. Not polluted delta? It's Grim Tutor. Search of basic lands. So, uh, ponder from Ari. Doesn't like what he sees. But yeah, does not like it enough to keep it, so I shuffle it away. You never really watched Running Skimpy, did you? Not really. Well, there's a horse in there that goes, No, sir, I don't like it. That's what Ari just said to the top of his deck. So. <laughs> Dan in with the boy. Ari down to seven now, uh, and brainstorm from Dan. It's all too I think Ari knows this game's probably lost. Well, without time limits, he's definitely going to make him beat him, you know? I mean, he oh, also yeah, yeah, has, it makes I mean, sense. He has tutors yeah, and No stuff. reason to not, yeah, but I'm just, uh, and, and it'd be great to see Ari come back. Uh, but that was, that was a pretty explosive opening from both players. So is that a uh, Guardian Beast? Okay, there we go. That's Scoop. <laughs> no, that was, uh, I'm just, I know. was kidding. Okay, good God. <laughs> <laughs> A cabal ritual. Okay, so we're gonna do a giveaway. Um, win six months of StarCityGames.com Premium. If you answer the following question correctly on our Twitter, which is at SCG Live, using the hashtag SCGDCLEG Top Four. And the question is, who was Jerry Thompson's opponent this morning when he uh, won with his Angry Birds deck? Uh, so, who did Jerry Thompson play in the finals of the standard portion of the Star City Games Open Series here in D.C.? It was just this morning. You shouldn't. You should have a memory. You, know, you should be able to remember back to this morning if you were, we're going watching. on the site and check out the that, coverage. That might help too. Yeah. See who won. That's another good way to do it. So, you can win six months of free premium to StarCityGames.com if you can just tell us who Jerry Thompson's opponent was in the finals of the standard portion of the Star City Games Open Series in D.C. Uh, and again, 
tweet at us at SCG Live with the hashtag SCGDC LEG Top 4. So, uh, alright, so let's take a look at the sideboards. Okay. I mean, so you would think. I mean, Daniel's obviously not going to bring in any of these creature removal spells, right? But, um,. See, Daniel's got Cross and Grip, Dispel, Jace, the Mind Sculptor, Pissing Needle, Ghastly Demise, Dark Blast, Engineered Explosives, and Consuming Vapors. Uh, Do you think the Jaces would come in here? I think, I mean, it, I think they might be too slow. It occurred to me. That, that game happened, I mean... That game was fast. The way that game went down, it's really hard to tell what kind of, uh, what kind of stuff that either player would really want to side in, because I'm not... I mean, well, I think Ari, was never Ari really definitely wants the thought seizes. Yeah, yeah, so thought seizes. Like, I mean, it's a little ob more. I think it's a little more obvious what Ari would side in. Well, yeah, he's more trying to, uh, trying to not let that kind of thing happen to him again. Where like he just basically, I mean, he he had tripled the rest. What do you need to, you know, <laughs> what more did he need to do? Well, apparently, double him was a little better. Right. Now he has the Doomsday Emrakul Sheldock Isle plan in the board. Yeah. Which is, uh... Yeah, which is, is definitely, like, an interesting plan. Um, I don't know if he would use it here, but... Yeah, see, the problem is the Wasteland and the Sheldock Isle. If, you know, if he hit, There's four Wastelands in, uh, in Daniel's deck, so... Wasteland on Sheldock Isle is a blowout there if you're going to do something <laughs> that's, like that. That's a very good point, yeah. Probably. And he's already down a game, so you don't want to gamble on the fact that uh, Dan top decks or just has the Wasteland. If you're just joining us, we are watching the semifinals of the StarCityGames.com Legacy Open Series in Washington, D.C. I'm Big Head Joe. My partner, Joey Pasco, has stepped out for a moment. Um, on the left, we're watching Daniel Signorini, and he is playing the Team America deck, which is a black, green, and blue deck, not red, white, and blue. And Ari Lax is playing an Ad Nauseam Tendrils deck. And Daniel took game one in a flourish of discard spells from both players, followed by a timely Tarmogoyf, which managed to get through all the way. So we're about to get into game two here. Ari's going to search up an island, going for those basic lands, knowing that Daniel is rocking the wastelands. And he's going to ponder. We see an ad nauseum. And two other cards he does not want to see, and he shuffles them up. side we have a verdant catacomb and Daniel searches up an underground sea Ari draws his card, plays a Misty Rainforest, and quickly passes the turn. Welcome you guys back. play fast. Thank you. I like it. Yes. <laughs> this is a great change of pace from last round. Um, we have a Verdant Catacomb again on Daniel's side, and he's going to search up 
presumably, yep, a second underground sea. I promise, despite how quietly I'm talking, I'm not going to go, go, <laughs> somebody wins. <laughs> Although, if you'd like me to, maybe I will. That would be pretty funny. I think I would blow everyone's ears yeah. out. I know I sit at home and watch these on headphones. I would be so mad if someone just went, <laughs> go, and just screamed into the microphone. So we've got a ponder in the middle of a uh, resolving. And Dan is gonna gonna keep him. Just been lands and ponder so far. Yeah, this is a much talk. slower start to the other yeah. than the other game. But I guess there are very few games that can now, start as fast. I saw Ari had duress in He has hand. A duress, yeah. Possibly thought seize as well. Pretty sure I saw thought. I'm seize. guessing <laughs> he might be avoiding trying to get or avoiding getting blown out by wasteland here, maybe. But I'm not sure. Well, he doesn't have a black mana source at the moment, so. Wouldn't he have? What, I mean, don't you assume he yeah, has I mean, underground seeds? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But I mean, that, it's not like he can instant speed duress or thought seeds. I'm just thinking like, uh, so that's what you're saying about the wasteland. You're afraid, he, or you're thinking he's afraid. Of I'm thinking that Ari doesn't want to lose his black source. Uh, it's possible. All he has. He he can he only has two swamps in the deck that he obviously can't search up with the. Um, How's it going? Do you want to watch and talk or? Cool. We're gonna have Ari. I mean, we're, we're watching Ari. We're gonna have Alex Bertoncini actually in the booth and uh, commenting a little bit on this match. So. What's up? What do we got here? Ari versus Daniel. Yeah. Ari was saying how this is like His only bad matchup, matchup yeah, ever. He, and he lost game one. Also yeah. playing the Stone Cold Master with the deck. Dan Segrini, I don't know if you guys know, is the person who invented this deck. Oh, uh, yeah. Team America. We did not yes, know that. He is Thank the you. creator of Team America. And Actually, Trey Parker and Matt Stone were the creators of Team America, but. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I shouldn't split hairs here. We're, uh, we're watching some magic America, here. Think, yeah. um, also, he got 16th in Grand Prix Columbus with this deck. Okay, oh, awesome. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Ari also top 16 that one, also. So they both top 16 Grand Prix, Grand Prix Columbus. Hmm. Did they did they play in the tops? Did they play at all? I don't know if they played at all. I'll say this is a rematch. So is that uh? That's Tomb Stalker. Tomb Stalker? Yeah. He delves away. I'm guessing five cards since he tapped. Did he ponder this turn also? Probably. I didn't see him ponder this. Okay, turn. then uh, probably delved five cards. Ari is also a very good player with this deck. He was. Uh, yeah, we haven't gotten to see this deck really in action and. Uh, Bad nausea. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. well, hadn't seen. Uh, Ari's version of it. Yeah. Um, he, game one, he tripled the rest, Daniel, but Daniel double him. Ari, so it was wow. like oh, such a brutal wow. start. Wow. By, it was like four minutes or That's something. That's insanity. And Daniel stuck a goif and, and that beat the clock. It, yeah. Oh wow, he stifled the fetch land. Oh, this is fantastic. Again, did he just? Yeah, this is nuts. Yeah, see, Daniel such stifled, a hateful deck. stifled the fetch land yeah. last game. I almost want to play Daniel's deck, man. Yeah, every every yeah, round. Da Daniel's deck yeah. is really hard, like to play, like the way he does. Like he makes it look easy. This deck's actually, you know, like, relatively tough. You have some real decisions. You have no one to delve one more, just so that you can pay one for days. You know what I mean? Like, you have, right. like know which right. cards are removed from from Tar War for you have to delve. Like, there's all these little interactions that he plays. Well. Uh, there it is. Wow. I right. can't find that the answer. That was really so fast. Wasn't it? Ari uh, was dead on about. That being a bad, I mean, I it's, it's just they yes. it, every almost every card in Daniel's like interacts with his, which yeah. is which isn't like any other deck in the format. Really, like Stifle interacts with him like, in either way, 